Well, where is the most corrupt country on earth? There are plenty vying for the dubious title. According to Transparency International, more than one in four people around the world paid a bribe in the last 12 months. Bucking the trend is the former Soviet Republic of Georgia. The figure there is just 4%, lower even than the UK's 5%. It's particularly remarkable for a country like Georgia where corruption until relatively recently was rampant. So how have the Georgians done it? And have they really been able to conquer corruption? Steve Rosenberg travelled to the Georgian capital, Tbilisi, to find out. We should warn you, there is some acting in this film. that this was absolutely common to pay a bribe in Georgia for the passport. It's a country which tried to change by declaring war on those who were skimming the system. But it's not only the police that became more transparent. The Georgian government opened giant public service palaces. Transactions that were once under the table were now out in the open. Here, Georgians can get everything from ID cards to company registrations without a bribe. Set prices and computer databases have squeezed out corruption. The main idea is that the um, public service hall operators don't have any interaction with money and with their fee payment procedures. I do remember when I was 16 years old and when I was firstly asked to bring bribe for my own passport. But right now, people are coming here, just taking a photo in the public service hall, and that's it. They do not need any more, any other documents. Georgia began to be seen as the world leader in fighting corruption. It was a remarkable turnaround. After cleaning up its act in things like police patrols and public services, Georgia seemed to have accomplished a mission impossible. From being right down near the bottom of the global league table on transparency, it rose to a ranking higher than some EU states. <laughs> 